AI may be powerful, but it's nothing like your brain. And here's why that matters. Understanding the real differences between AI and your brain isn't just fascinating, it helps us use AI better and puts the sci-fi fears into perspective. So let's dive in. In this video series, I'll explore differences between your brain and AI. How does your brain store information? What do optical illusions tell us? Over the course of this series, I'll build up a model of the human mind and describe it in a way that can be replicated in a future artificial intelligence. I'm Charles Simon, longtime AI researcher, software developer, and manager. In addition to AI work, I've developed software for several neurological test instruments and neural simulators, and along the way learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of biological neurons and how your brain must work to do the things it does. I founded the Future AI Society to pursue these ideas, and we're in the process of writing all aspects of this process in the Open Source Brain Simulator 3, and I invite you to participate. The first big difference between your brain and AI? Your brain learns continuously. Every moment, every mistake, every success helps you adapt and improve. AI, on the other hand, doesn't work like that. AI is trained on massive data sets. Millions of examples processed in a controlled environment. Once trained, it's locked. Want it to learn something new? You need to retrain the entire system. Your brain, however, learns on the fly, adapting to new information instantly. That's why AI struggles in unpredictable environments while your brain thrives. Today's mainstream AI relies on training where a system is presented with a set of training examples and adjusts internal parameters. After training, the system is deployed, which is when the system becomes useful. Using an AI means giving it an input to which the AI system provides an output which is likely to be the best answer based on the parameters set during training. After training, the system does not adjust its internal parameters and cannot learn anything new. This split between training and deployment is obviously different from your mind, which can learn new information at any time and add it to your existing body of knowledge. This split is an unavoidable consequence of the fundamental AI training algorithm called backpropagation and is one more bit of evidence that mainstream AI is not like your brain. To understand how backpropagation and your brain differ, you'd need to know about both which I'll save for future videos. For now, let's just say that if backpropagation existed in biological neurons, learning would be too slow to be useful. As a quick example, let's consider a classic application of an AI trained to read just the handwritten digits 0 to 9. Originally conceived for mail sorting of U.S. zip code numbers, this application now serves as a common exercise for AI students. The public training set includes 60,000 training examples for just 10 symbols. A simple implementation of a solution to this problem contains 13,000 parameters, all of which are adjusted during the training process. Second, let's talk energy. Your brain is a marvel of efficiency running on about 20 watts, less power than most laptops. Training an AI like GPT-4? That can use the energy equivalent of 5,000 homes for a year. Why? Because AI relies on brute force calculations while your brain uses a different fundamental data structure. ChatGPT-4 has 1.8 trillion internal parameters, which were all adjusted during its training, which took 100 days and consumed 50 billion watt-hours of electricity. Again, 
The basic approach to adding new information to an AI is to add the new information to the training set and rerun the entire training process. You can see why this is not done frequently and why a more human-like data approach which supports adding new information will be a huge advance. It is more difficult to unlearn or correct erroneous information than to learn correct information in the first place. You'll learn better if you learn to recognize the ideal examples and see the handwritten digits as variants from the ideal. This means that for your brain, the order of training data is vitally important. For machine learning, Information doesn't build on previous information, so order isn't important. Third, replication. Teaching a human takes years, but once you've trained an AI, you can copy it in seconds and deploy it anywhere. This makes AI incredibly scalable, but it also means that every copy of the AI inherits the same flaws and blind spots from the original training. Compare this with our educational process. At school, teachers who know how to read convey this knowledge to a number of children over a period of years. Each child needs to learn individually. What we think of as teaching to children is actually more akin to knowledge replication, but it's much more efficient in the AIs. So why does all this matter? because AI is part of everything we do, from writing emails to diagnosing diseases. Understanding its limitations helps us use it responsibly and predict how future AIs will evolve. So what do you think? How will AI and human intelligence evolve together? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video insightful, hit like, subscribe, and join us for more explorations into the world of AI and how your mind works. And as always, thanks for watching.